In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Iris shaders for Minecraft 1.21.6. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, please make sure that Java Edition is selected and then over here in the version selector, go ahead and press on latest released, which at the time of recording this video is 1.21.6 and then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on play. Alright guys, so here you are in Minecraft 1.21.6, so we first need to load into this version before we start adding shaders and mods and stuff like that, but once you went ahead and load it into Minecraft 1.21.6, feel free to go ahead and close out of the tab and now we can proceed to the next step. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. It is going to bring you to a page that looks like this where it will provide you with all the files and tools that you need in order to download iris shaders and also it will provide you with a written step by step guide. So we just did step number one right over here, which was to launch Minecraft 1.21.6. So now the next thing we got to do is we got to download the Iris Shaders installer. So underneath step number two, you should find the Iris Shaders download link right over here. It should be right over here. Go ahead and press on that. It is now going to bring you to a page that looks like this. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on download now. Then you want to go ahead and press on download universal jar. And while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and quality Minecraft servers where you're able to upload mods, mod packs with the click of a single button. There is dozens of plugins, video guides showing you how to do everything, and best of all, it will work for Minecraft 1.21.6, so if you want to play with your friends with mods or even shaders, then Simple Game Hosting is the way to do it. Simple Game Hosting offers multiple plans that you guys can go ahead and try out, and also there is 24-7 live customer support, which will definitely come in handy there is also a refund guarantee on simple game hosting so there really is no risk so if you wanted to make a minecraft server now is the perfect time to do it and guys if you go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments and use code frybry then you will get an additional 25 percent off your very first month of minecraft server hosting the link is in the description down below and in the pinned comments all right boys that's enough yapping out of me so the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the iris installer file so for me i'm able to go ahead and access it on the top right now depending on your web browser you may not be able to see it from here but what you could always do is just open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads and then you should be able to find iris installer now for clarity purposes of this video i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the iris installer to my desktop and i personally recommend that you guys do the same thing because it will just make the process a little bit easier all right guys once you're done with that let's go back to the website over here and step number three is to download java 21. So in order to download shaders, Optifine, or any type of mod or anything like that, you will need Java on your system. So go to this link over here that says Java download, then it is going to bring you to a page that does look like this. And once you're over here, please make sure that JDK21 is actually selected. And then down here, you guys could select on your operating system. So you guys could download Java, whether you're on Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows. So I would go ahead and select on Windows. Then I would go ahead and install the x64 install right over here. And then it is going to walk you through the setup wizard, which is incredibly easy and intuitive. And downloading Java really doesn't take too long either. All right, but if you're still having difficulty downloading Java, then consider using the jar fix. What the jar fix does is that it attempts to repair all of the .jar files on your system and essentially make Java work again. So if for whatever reason you can't download Java, then consider using the jar fix. Here is the link underneath step number four. And basically it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this. And then you want to go ahead and press on jarfix.exe. The jar fix is an executable file that will basically run on your device and then attempt to repair all of the Java files and try to make Java work again and even if your java is working perfectly fine it's always good to know this just in case in the future java gives you issues all right guys but now that you're done with that let's go back to our desktop so we should have the iris installer and java installed on our system the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the iris installer then you want to go ahead and right click on it then you want to select on open with and you should be able to see java tm platform se binary if you did download java guys that's why it's really important to download java so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on that and then it is going to give you a menu that looks like this. Now, where it says select game version, please go ahead and select on 1.21.6. And where it says installation type, make sure that Iris only is selected. Then once you're done with that, go ahead and press on install. Once you're done with that, feel free to go ahead and close out of the Iris installer. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher one more time. All right, guys, now from here, make sure that Java Edition is selected. Now, this time you want to go to the top menu and press over here where it says installations. 
then where it says versions, please make sure that modded is actually turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. So please go ahead and make sure that modded is turned on. And yeah, you should be able to see that Iris and Sodium for 1.21.6 is in this list right over here. So once you went ahead and see Iris and Sodium for 1.21.6, we could proceed to the next step. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to head it back over to the website. And now we need to go ahead and install an Iris compatible shader pack. So underneath step number seven, you guys will find a link over here. And if you go ahead and press on it, it's going to give you all of these shaders that are actually compatible with Minecraft 1.21.6. And there's many great websites out there, by the way. But me personally, I really like the website called Modrinth right over here. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. But uh, I just want you to double check that in the left menu where it says loader that Iris is actually selected because again we are working with iris shaders so please double check that iris is actually selected now from here go ahead and find a shader that you want to install for this video we're going to keep it simple and we're going to go ahead and download the bsl shaders right over here so go ahead and press on that all right once we're here go ahead and select on versions and then once you're here where it says platforms please double check that iris is actually included so you have as you're able to tell this one where it says platforms iris is included and also 1.21.6 and also where it says game version you want to make sure that it also does say 1.21.6 now you will notice that over here it doesn't exactly specify that it is 1.21.6 but do not worry guys because you can download shaders that are from minecraft 1.21.5 and you can still use them on Minecraft 1.21.6. So do not worry if the versions do not exactly match, but you just want to make sure they're as close as possible. So for example, this one over here, it does say that it is for Minecraft 1.21.5 over here, but that means we could actually still use that over on 1.21.6. So we are good to go. We don't need to worry about that. So guys, don't stress out if the version is not exactly the same. But now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press over here where it says download. Then there you go. We have the shader right over here. Now go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop one more time. There you go. And now once you're done with that, head back over to the Minecraft launcher. Then once you're here, go to the top menu, go ahead and press on play. Make sure that Iris and Sodium for 1.21.6 is actually selected. Then go ahead and press on play one more time. All right, guys. So here we are in Minecraft 1.21.6. And in the bottom left, you'll notice that it will say fabric and then modded. So now what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and select on options, then go ahead and select on video settings. Then in the top menu, you will notice that there is going to be an option that says shader packs. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that. Then you want to go ahead and press on this button that says open shader pack folder. Then you're going to get a folder that looks like this. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the shader that we did install inside of this folder. So remember earlier we did download the BSL shaders. So all we got to do is just drag and drop it. There you go. And once you see that it is inside the shader packs folder, then we can go ahead and close out of it. Then return it back over to Minecraft. And yep, you will notice that BSL shaders will actually be an option. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on that. Then you want to go ahead and press on apply. All right. Once you see that it is actually selected, you will notice that it is selected because of the yellow text. Then go ahead and just press on done. Then go ahead and press on done, done, and then load into any Minecraft world you do have. And as you're able to tell, these shaders are actually working and Minecraft is just so incredibly beautiful with the BSL shader, guys. And I'm honestly really hyped about that. But guys, it is summertime now and now is the perfect time to create a server for you and all of your friends to play together. Remember to use Simple Game Hosting because it offers affordable and quality Minecraft servers where you're able to upload mods and mod packs with the click of a single button. The link to Simple Game Hosting can be found in the description down below and in the pinned comments. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, french fries.